The idea of artificial intelligence, one may think, is a very recent one. Actually, it dates back to a Muslim mystic, Jabir bin Hayyan, the father of modern chemistry. He invented the idea of a laboratory, and he says the first essential in chemistry is that thou should perform practical work and conduct experiments. For he who performs not practical work nor makes experiments will never attain the least degree of mastery. Will Durant explains chemistry as a science was almost created by the Muslims, where the Greeks were confined to industrial experience and a vague hypothesis, the Muslims introduced precise observation, controlled experiment and careful records. But here comes the interesting part. Jabir bin Hayyan, with his unmatchable stature as the father of chemistry and experimental science, does not take credit for his inventions to himself. Rather, he is known to say, everything I learned in chemistry was from my master, Imam Jafar as Sadiq. It is he who taught me about calcination, evaporation, distillation, and crystallization, all chemical processes. Imam Jafar is from the lineage of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and is held in high regard by both factions uh, of the Muslim world, the Sunni as well as the Shia. The ancient Greeks thought the world was made out of just four elements, air, water, fire, and earth. On this, Imam Jafar is reported to have said, I wonder how a man like Aristotle could say that the world has only four elements. The earth is not an element. It contains many elements. Each metal in the earth is an element. There are three main figures of Western chemistry who are attributed with starting the chemical revolution. Robert Boyle, Lavoisier, and John Dalton. All these three men, literally what all they have done, is to expand and introduce the theories of Jabir bin Hayyan to Europe. So essentially, there were three main milestones in the path of modern chemistry. One is a complete break from Aristotle's four element theory. Number two was the introduction of the experimental scientific method and finally, the idea of atomism, the idea that everything in the universe consists of smaller building blocks. All of these are originally attributed to Jabir bin Hayyan. This Quranic inspiration behind Jabir bin Hayyan's science is manifest in his theory of balance. According to Jabir, all that exists in the cosmos has a cosmic balance. This balance is present at various levels and the Quran refers to this balance in several places as Al-Mizan. What should be emphasized though is the Quranic foundation of Jabir bin Hayyan's chemistry and especially his teacher Imam Jafar's role in building modern chemistry. So if we take a God's eye view and see the unfolding of human history, the story of human progress. All of modern technology, global economy, communication, energy that we notice around us stems out from the works of a Muslim mystic, Jabir bin Hayyan. And if we take his word that he was just a spokesman of his teacher's scientific thought, then all of this goes back to the family of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and in particular to Imam Jafar as-Sadiq.